Hello there and thanks for joining us. My name is Cyril Aloysius and this is the newspaper review right here on that TV for today, the 30th day of June 2022. And with me in the newspaper review for today is Mr. Victor Sioku. You're very much welcome to join me, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, and um, it's been a very, very rainy day out here in the city of Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. I don't know, sir, what's your take on the rainy season this period? Do you see the rain continuing today or you think it's going to be the end of the show for now? Well, the rain is coming, uh, is, is, is a good deed because, for uh, our farmers, as far as I'm concerned. There was a heavy downpour this morning. Yeah, so people should go to their farms and this is the best time to plant your maize. Mm -hmm. Okay, best time for vegetables. So, mm -hmm. go in there and uh, make good use of the, the but, soil. But you know what they're saying? You know they're saying that we have um, too much of everything is bad? So, do you, don't you think too much of the rains could be actually bad for <laughs> no, us? No, we need food. <laughs> Okay, um, before we go straight to the business of the day, we'll go on a short break and when we return, we'll take you straight to the headlines for today. Do you stay tuned. Hey there, are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further with our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Back from that um, short break and um, the first paper we shall be taking a look at is the Daily Sun. Amongst the headlines in the Daily Sun for today, we have Cracks in PDP Widen. Cracks in PDP Widen. Okay, you can get all the details on that um, headline on page 6 of Daily Sun. And next on page 8, we have on page 26, I beg your pardon, Ekure Madu. FG steps in, hires lawyers. Ekure Madu. FG steps in, hires lawyers. Senate to send delegation to London. That's on page 26 of the Daily Sun. And on page 8, we have lawyers sue INEC, AGF. Others seek Atiku Tinubu Obi's disqualification. Lawyers sue INEC, AGF. Others seek Atiku Tinubu OB's disqualification. That's on page 8 of the Daily Sun. And on page 26, we have Court stops or your assembly from impeaching Deputy Governor. Court stops or your assembly from impeaching Deputy Governor. That's on page 26. And um, next, we have um, on page 4 and 5, Bandits kill, kill two. Abduct medical doctor, 15 others in Kaduna. Bandits Q2, abduct medical doctor, 15 others in Kaduna. That's on page 4 and 5 of the Daily Sun. And next in Daily Sun, we have on page 28. This one here says, Senate confirms Buhari's seven ministerial nominees. Senate confirms Buhari's seven ministerial nominees. That's on page 28. And lastly, in the Daily Sun for today, we have APC, APC frets over OB's growing support constitutes mobilization committee for social media. That's on page 26. I go again. APC frets over OB's growing support constitutes mobilization committee for social media. That's on page 26 of the Daily Sun. Okay, before we go straight now to our next paper for today. Mr. Victor, I don't know which of the headlines that you want to talk about. Okay, cracks in the PDP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the much awaited news is out there because uh, persons have been like, uh, why is it that uh, Governor Wike has not been uh, vocal all this time? And we know him as a man that uh, has many words in his mouth, mm. okay? So he's been quite silent, but not until recently. First of all, um, Governor Fa uh, former Governor of the State, Fayoshi, came out, David Fayoshi, he loves, he loves to be called David. Fire, she came out to say that 
he is pinching his tent to a certain candidate. Hmm. Okay, now meaning that he is not going to support Atiku, Atiku from his party. So, um, indications are saying that he is going to support Tinubu, meaning that he might be moving to the APC. So, do, does that um, spell um, disunity in the PDP right now? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So some places are also saying, but a, um, a, a little number are saying that he might also move to the Labour Party. Oh, but the person of Fire that I know, he might not make such move because he's uh, more of see Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria is divided. So I don't see Fire moving towards southeastern. Well, at, okay? at, 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 at a time like this, when um, I think even the APC are actually having some challenges and putting themselves together, don't you think uh, a news like this could actually give them an upper hand? Come yeah, to big hopes, big hopes. And uh, coming from the, the point I that... Mean, discovering that your, your closest rivals are also uh, in disunity... 100% as it stands, <laughs> APC are in jubilation because just yesterday, just yesterday, the committee, they are supposed to... Um, uh, um, usher in um, the PDP governorship candidate mm. to win Oshun election, which is coming this year. Okay. okay. We find out that out of the 12 governors that we are supposed to be at the commissioning of this committee, the committee to take care of the, the gubernatorial election coming in Oshun State, we find out that it was just only one person out of 12 PDP governors that were supposed to be at the venue. Mm. What does that tell you? There is strong crack in the PDP. Down to even the head of the committee was not even there. Uguayi was not there. Enugu State was not there. Um, uh, Diri, Diri of Bayelsa State, who is the chairman of the committee, was not there. Even the chairman of the party, Senator Ayu, was not there. So it was just about the Taraba State governor and the governor of Delta State. Who is not even part of the committee, but he had to come due to his VP. And also, oh come on, the PDP is finding it hard right now because even Governor Autumn of Benue State came out to say that he is not in the position to say that he's going to support Atiku. Because one, he mentioned one, when the committee that was that was in charge of zoning, as in zoning where the presidential aspirant of the PDP should come from, the party the leadership of Senator Ayu, who is the chairman, and Atiku, had to dash what came out from the committee, the zoning committee. Secondly, there was a 17-man committee that were in charge to um, uh, pull out the best candidate for the VP slot. And out of the 17, 14 came out to say, give it to Nike. They submitted the report and the same article with the chairman of the party touched the report to it to the dustbin. Mm. And they're not saying even there is strong indication showing that the chairman of the party might be on his way out because he might just be removed because the party are so divided that which is actually not if they don't put their house in order with the way everything is going the Bayless State Governor, is, in fact, he had the Bayless State Governor hinge his decision to God, saying that he's still waiting for God to tell him who to support as he stands that is neutral. Hmm. So that also tells you that, in fact, the House of Labour Party and the House of the of the APC should be working now to find oh, an MMP, MMP, MMPP should be working out to find ways to hash some of these and then persons are they really a major living that so yeah please yes i need to give them the fourth you think so yes they are the fourth they are for, they are the fourth member why, right? why, why why do you think they are the fourth because one person is big one person is big in the north he's making waves you think you think just having just one person is enough to uh... no but just recently a senator moved in labor party does not have a senator up to now uh-huh okay. a senator moved okay. in let's uh, two senators let's keep our fingers crossed and watch come 2023 okay let's not do much on that headline let's move straight now to the nation and amongst the headlines of the nation for today we have ahead 2023 presidential poll ayoshe autumn rattle pdp 
ahead 2023 presidential poll fireshe autumn rattle pdp okay that's for that and then uh, next we have kaduna train attack victim kaduna train attack victim shot in captivity that's on page four it's a very sad one court halts or your deputy governor's planned sack that's on page five and next we have on page on page six here this one here says eu's full disclosure disclosure request on cargoes from nigeria takes off next year and lastly on page five we have why importers are abandoning nigerian ports by operators that's um, according to um v vin evaluations to blame that's on page five of the nation thank you so much and um for we'll move straight to our next paper for today mr victor i don't know show the headlines you want to talk about uh, please let's go to the business line because uh, many businesses are suffering right now okay, okay. um importers especially car dealers are really are really crying out to the government saying that the cost of clearing vehicles right now has has not been this high ever in the history of the country why would you bring in a vehicle that you pay one million naira to bring in to buy over there and you are spending almost two million to clear the vehicle who will buy the vehicle and that's bad business bad, 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 bad business yes and come to think of it there is this question of why would you have two vein valuations that's the vehicle inspection uh, number valuations you have the normal valuation and you then have the evaluation now the so-called evaluation why would you have an evaluation for same task and also have the paper valuation and in these cases you charge separately for them and that is where double taxation comes in mind you i have been talking on this show about how this our our, our, our government parasitators will be running on um, not even gov not even the government even down to the abiros how will you be taxing people indiscriminately on same purpose you have three taxes on just one purpose so now these persons are crying out that okay another issue aside having this double taxation on um vehicle valuation you still have the situation where vehicles that have been deemed to come in 15 years old vehicles as well are, are allowed it is not bound to bring in vehicles from 0 to 15 years old to the country but on their system you have them once in years they start penalizing you meaning that you pay more monies for clearing that also increases the clearing the, the clearing amount now they are saying that most nigerians have abandoned their vehicles at the port and that is also causing congestion the same port that even when you come out there are chains of of levies and taxes that you pay on the road is it Abiro? is it the government is it police is it a uh, ncdc is it a uh, road safety is it customs it is too much so what do you what? think is to be done to actually um, to make sure that things actually get back to normal safety? there should be a total flush when I mean a total, no, it is, it, is, it is that serious because the government on their own, well, they try to tell us that they are working. But at the end of the day, these taxations keeps increasing. Nigerian businessmen are getting impoverished. And, and, it's, and it's this, not funny in any way. And this money does not even come to the covers of the federal government. It does not. And it's, 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 it's not like the government has even done much to uh, reduce the state of uh, poverty in the, in the nation. No, look at our papa. Back then, you go to Apapa. Apapa was known for a very beautiful environment. Mm. But these people have, they have bastardized the environment. Chains of truck, why? Because of the, the, the ports are not even um, uh, functional, functional to release vehicles. So you are saying that the system should be stopped. And going, Abiros, Abiros at Apapa. Apapa is now more like the, 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 the thing of, of, of Abiros in, in the country. And now, even the local government, guy, if you go there, the, the, the amount of tickets, the numbers of tickets that are being dished out at, at Apapa. Oh my God. 
it is incredible. So, mm. what do we do? What do we do? We need to find a way and flush out because there, see, there are the bad eggs are there doing these deals. So, flushing out the system, like you said, yes, that would help in a sense. Flush them out. The, bad, the, the evil doer should go. Okay. Should be. Does it mean. And prosecute them, not just you sack them, you prosecute okay. them. Okay. Because this money, if they trace very well, these monies are not going into the, into the, into the account of the government. Okay. So you, you flush out the system, does it in any way guarantee that the persons who will be, who will be um, um, put into the system would actually live up to... Uh, no, by the time... See, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, we don't punish evildoers. So by the time you punish one, you punish two, you see that so there will be improvement. The rest will, 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 will yes, learn from there will be improvement. Okay, there will be improvement. Flush out the system. All right, let's move straight now to our next and last paper for today. We shall be looking at the news direct. And amongst the headlines in the news direct for today, we have Nigeria to generate 3.8 trillion Naira non-oil revenue annually. As federal government gives nod to finance boosting reforms. Nigeria to generate 3.8 trillion Naira non-oil revenue annually. As federal government gives nod to financial boosting reforms. Okay, um, that's from page, page 2 of news direct. And on page 14, we have Wema Bank, 40 billion Naira rights issue in August. Wema Bank to begin 40 billion Naira rights issue in August. That's on page 14. And on page 2, we have PDP crisis deepens as governors boycott or show governorship election committee, committee inauguration. Okay. And next, we have on page two as well, Senate confirms Buhari's seven nominees as minister, as minister designates. Okay. And lastly, on page two as well, we have NMDPRA pays 74 billion Naira to marketers in seven months. Okay, that's the much we can take in the news direct before we call it a day, Mr. Victor. Which of the headlines okay. interest you? Yeah, the improvement on uh, the Nigeria, the non oil sector to uh, bring in coffee in 3.8 okay. yes. trillion naira. Okay. Sanusu sweets. So many deals in our ears. 3.8 trillion. But it's actually, 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 actually sweet. It's very sweet, but how possible? They are just making mouth. Non oil sector, meaning that. The manufacturers will go into work and manufacture things. They, they, there will be um, uh, so we are now as we should be expecting a total boom in the manufacturer in the manufacturing sector. Okay? okay, then you ask. The manufacturers have the enabling environment to run their businesses. The answer is no. Manufacturers spend so much in transportation. Our roads are bad. The, the truck fares are expensive. Our, our railways are not working, especially in the southern part of Nigeria, except uh, some parts of um, uh, of the southern part, which is just the uh, Lagos to Ibadan, for me, which is very short. From Potakot to Aba, you cannot make the trip on the train. Mm. You cannot travel from Potakot to Aba with your vehicle. It is too And bad. all these are top top challenges for manufacturers. Hundred percent. You cannot even do road trips in the night again as uh, as a as a company because of insecurity. So what do they need to do? Security. Take care of security. Take care of the roads. Okay. If you cannot, uh, if the if the railway system, you don't have enough money to do that. Please fix the roads. And currently, the the, the issue of security in the country is uh, it's, it's way overboard. Yes. And electricity. Because manufacturers cannot depend on diesel. The price of diesel is more than 700 naira. How would they run their factories? Already factories are down. The same non oil sector, like the banking sector, they are suffering. Telecommunication, suffering. Why? The cost of running their businesses are high. high. The power generation is too low. Increase it. It's like it's, it's, they know what to do. They are just making okay. a. So for so, me, it, it, it's so, empty. The so promise is empty. So you are saying that um, the 3.8 trillion naira um, revenue is, uh, should I say, an exaggeration? It's not realistic unless where they can get this money is, is through um, FIRS 
through um, transitions and it has to be triple that transition not even once if they want to get this kind of money they now have to overtax nigerians to 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 build such money yes we need this money it's no two ways about that our budget is 17 17 trillion naira it's not even enough education is crying they can't even give you education 10 percent of the of the budget wow. okay they might even budget it say uh, you are coming you take 10 percent at the end of the year they will not give it to them so how will you even how will our manufacturing companies um uh, boom when our students who are supposed to take charge of those manufacturing are at home so it does not add up they know the prerequisites they know the the bedrock of having um an increment in your non-oil uh, uh, revenue so you think all this is just to give nigerians hope that uh, my brother just hope is sweet but uh, <laughs> i don't see it okay mr victor i think this is where we have to uh, draw the cotton today on the newspaper review thank you so much for your time with us today thank you sir. we do appreciate you, you and as for you who has been there watching us we also say thank you because uh, without you we would not be here my name is cyril aloysius and of course this is where we have to call it a wrap in the newspaper review for today the 30th of june 2022 and don't forget you can also be a part of this discussion you have questions to ask suggestions to make do well to drop them in the comment section of our, any of our social media platforms on youtube we are at tav tv on instagram we are at tav tv underscore ng on facebook we are at tav tv and on twitter we are at tav tv and don't forget to subscribe to this channel have a blessed day and have a blessed week bye bye hey there are you looking to record your videos do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures look no further with our state-of-the-art newsroom photography kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio we certainly can deliver the best studio experience our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life we aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment.